Hello everybody, it's uh, Steve Katsikaris, uh, Norlin Kobakon Community Watchdog. I just got the uh, Guardian uh, website here on my computer. I'm just covering a story that I find very disturbing. Um, it's about this uh, Chinese executive and uh, they got arrested in uh, Vancouver um, just a few days ago. And um, the reason why this person got arrested is because the United States thinks they have so much power they can just say you can't deal with Iran. And this woman's not selling weapons or anything like that. She's doing telecommunications or something. So I just want to go over this document here. And uh, the reason why I'm doing the video is because this is totally illegal what the federal government has done to this woman. Absolutely illegal. I think it's disgusting to treat um, visitors to our country and actually violate Canadian Human Rights Code. So um, I'm just going to put this up here and show you um, what's been said. Um, so, uh, so China has basically immediate, uh, demanded for her immediate release. And uh, as you can see here, she's into telecommunications, not terrorism, folks. Telecommunications, all right? So um, apparently uh, Ottawa and Washington have been in collusion together and I, I, I call this conspiracy for sure and they arrested this woman and um, when I first heard about it uh, they said she was being denied bail one because she had too much money that's totally hilarious and two when they charged her they said the charges were sealed okay so I've been through this stuff now with the government now for the last seven years so I know what's going on here there's no such thing saying sealed charges uh -uh. when you charge someone first of all there's got to be facts evidence and then lay the charge you can't just say well we're not going to tell anybody right now it's sealed so now I'm going to get into our Constitution of Canada this Constitution Act and I'm going to show you where Ottawa is totally wrong here and what they're doing um, so um, I'm just going to see if I can find it here I think I just missed it here so there's the legal rights okay all right, so yeah, so here it is here. All right, so this is our country, folks, Canada, true, north, strong, and free. And see this thing? That's called the Constitution Act, okay? This is the ultimate law in the country. Now, I just want to point out a thing here where Ottawa is totally um, out of bounds. And uh, this is a Charter and Rights and Freedoms, which is a right, not a civil liberty, and it's also a guarantee by our Queen. All right? Now, where they're wrong by detaining this woman, and I'm going to tell you right now, is um, right here, and uh, I believe fundamental freedoms. And that means, like, you know, these are, like, strong core. All right? And uh, what they're doing here now is they're violating this Human Rights Code here freedom of association so um, this woman is a businesswoman she's from China um, I want to remind everybody China's a superpower they're also part of the United Nations as one of the five big countries that has veto power and uh, she came to this country has now been thrown in prison they haven't officially charged her of any crime and the other thing is it's not an offense in Canada what she's done it's not, it's not a criminal offense in the United States, which she's done, or anything international law. The only thing it is, is American foreign policy is playing police state, and they're suspending what they call habeas corpus. All right, that gets back to Magna Carta, the, the core of our, our society here in Canada and in the free world, democracy world, such as you know, the United Kingdom and also Canada. So this is where Ottawa's wrong here now. They're denying this woman. Um, simple fundamental rights. Now I know she's not a Canadian citizen, but if this is our guarantee and we treat Canadian citizens like this, supposed to be, then we need to treat people that come from other countries with respect and dignity as well. So, you know, we're supposed to be a fair country here and uh, we're breaking our own laws by throwing this woman in jail. So I'm just going to put this up on YouTube and um, express my uh, condolences to the people of China for uh, the misconduct of the Canadian government doing this dirty work for the United States. And uh, this, there's no excuse for this, you know. Putting people through court systems, throwing people in jail is a big deal. It really is wrong. You're only supposed to put criminals in jail, all right? Maybe some of those people in politics, they need to get thrown in jail for all this. 
and uh, Canadians need to sit back and look at their constitution, you know, look at the Constitution Act, take a look at the criminal code, and I'll tell you, it gets pretty scary when you start seeing these laws, and at the same time, the mainstream media, like, they just went along with this. No one's actually screaming human rights here. They're just going along thinking that she's some kind of criminal and she's not. And um, until there's any evidence or, you know, even prove what she's done is wrong, you know, like um, selling cheap shoes or telecommunications to Iran, that's, like, ridiculous. As long as she's not selling weapons, who cares, right? So um, I'm putting this up on YouTube, and uh, I'm Steve Katsikaris, uh, your Norland Kolbakong watchdog and uh, Ryerson student. So stay tuned and watch my video, and uh, hey, go read this. I think everybody should take the time to learn the law of this country. It's being broken by Ottawa. All right, so take care, everybody, and uh, stay tuned for my next video. So long.